Hey guys, Yuvraj here from the Astra team and we finally released Astra 3.5 for the public. That means you guys should have access to Astra 3.5 right now. Now we did release Astro 3.5 as a beta update almost a week ago. So some of you guys might already have used it, tested it out and also experienced all the new features. But for the rest of you guys, I'm here to tell you all what's new inside Astra 3.5. Now there are a lot of improvements under the hood in Astra 3.5. But if I were to talk about the most important changes, I can classify them into five important changes. So let me talk about the first major improvement, which is performance. Astra 3.5 is significantly faster than all the previous versions of Astra and all the improvements in performance have been made through CSS optimization. So let me tell you about all the significant ways in which we have optimized CSS in Astra 3.5. The first improvement that we made is we've removed a bunch of unused CSS from Astra. That's made Astra a little bit faster. The second and the more impactful change has been the use of conditional CSS. Conditional CSS is used in two ways in Astra 3.5. The first use of conditional CSS is with regards to page builder support. Now Astra 3.5 will detect the kind of page builder you're using and only load the corresponding CSS giving you an extra edge in performance. The second way we've used conditional CSS is in regards with the header and footer builder. Now Astra 3.5 will conditionally load the CSS of only those elements that you're using in the header and footer builder, again giving you an edge in performance. To give you some specific numbers, earlier, that means before Astra 3.5, the CSS file size was 56.89 kilobytes with an overall load time of 725 milliseconds. But with Astra 3.5, the CSS is now just 41.09 kilobytes and the load time is, has been reduced to 666, that means 666 milliseconds. That is an improvement of 59 milliseconds or 8% in overall load time. So that's all the performance improvements you will experience in Astra 3.5. Let's head to my computer and I'll tell you all the other features that we've added in Astra 3.5. All right, we're inside the magical world of WordPress and let's talk about the new feature, new improvements in the related post feature in Astra 3.5. We introduced the related post feature in a previous release, but we've gotten some feedback and we've implemented a lot of that feedback in Astra 3.5. So let's talk about the new improvements to the related post feature. I'm already on a single blog uh, layout or single layer blog section on my website. And to access the related post feature, you have to go into the blog section, single post, and let's scroll down right here first. And you can see no related post showing up, which is the default layout or default option. If you scroll down below, you'll see the enable related post option right here. It's a feature in Astra, the free version as well. You don't need the pro version to access the feature. So let's enable this and you'll see the related post appear on the blog post. All right, so now you see the related posts are appearing on the blog section and let's talk about the new improvements that we made to the section. So the first improvement that we made is now you have the option of customizing the title of the related post section. Earlier it was fixed to related post, but now you have the option to change it. For example, if I go here and just say read more, the section is now instantly changed to read more. And you also have the option of customizing the title alignment. The default option is left. You can choose a center or also right justified or right alignment for the title. Let's switch to or let's stick to the left alignment for now. And coming to the next option, this is not a new feature, the total number of related posts, you already had the option to do so. And this uh, feature was already existing as well, grid column layout, you had the option of choosing how many posts or how many related posts would appear in a grid. But there is an improvement to this feature. Now you can choose uh, different grid column layouts for different devices. For example, right now you see the icon here is for desktop and we are on a desktop device. So the grid column layout is set to two, but I can actually change it by just clicking this button right here. And now I'm in a tablet view and you can still see the option is set to two. And of course, two uh, blog posts or two related posts are showing up in a grid, but I can change it to one. And now you can see that grid layout has changed to one. So you'll see only one blog post in a single grid or single row of blog posts appearing. And you can do the same thing for mobile devices as well. So example, mobile device, I've just customized it and it's set to one. And now you can see it's uh, showing only one blog post in a single row. And if I change it to two, now you'll see two different blog posts are appearing in a grid. So you have complete control over how many uh, blog posts or how many related posts you want to display on individual devices. You have controls for desktop, mobile and tablet. So that's all the new improvements we've made to the related post feature. Let's talk about the next improvement in Astra 3.5. So the next exciting option in Astra 3.5 is the addition of responsive controls for the site title and tagline. 
You can find those settings by going into the logo settings, by going into the header builder. Also, you can click the pencil icon right here to directly navigate to the uh, logo settings inside the header and footer builder. And if you scroll down, you'll find the option of site title and site tagline, which was uh, already present, but you'll also notice two new icons, which I already demonstrated in the responsive or in the related post option just a few minutes ago. And these will option or these options will allow you to customize the visibility of the site title and site tagline depending on the kind of device your user is accessing your website for uh, website from so let me just disable the logo for a second and then enable the site title and tagline let me enable both these options and now you can see this uh, logo is gone and the site title and tagline are visible and let's click this button to see what happens and as you can see, the site has shifted to a tablet view and the site title and tagline are disabled for tablet devices because you can customize it or customize the visibility all per devices. So I'll enable these options again on tablet devices. And once again, we'll switch to mobile phone view and we'll see a similar behavior. The site title and tagline are disabled by default and you need to enable them if you want them to be visible on mobile devices. With these options, you have complete control on which devices the site title and the tagline are made visible. Let's switch to desktop once again. Now, since we are already talking about the site title and tagline, it's a great transition into the next update in Astra 3.5, which is the addition, or I would say the transfer over the site title color options inside Astra. Let me go into the design tab and I'll show you what I mean. Now you'll see title color and tagline color options in Astra. Now these were previously part of Astra Pro, but now we've moved these options to Astra in the free version of Astra as well. So let me quickly demonstrate how you can use this option. In the title color, you'll have the option of setting the color and the hover color. And for the tagline, you can set a standard color. So let me quickly change the colors in a second. Let's say you want to set it to the brown color. And for the hover color, black looks great. And for the tagline, I'll stick with the brown color. And now you can instantly see that the logo is now transformed into a brand new be beautiful looking copper brown logo and the hover color is the black color which I just demonstrated. So this is now a great new addition to the free version of Astra which was previously only available in Astra Pro. Alright, so the next update in Astra 3.5 is with regards to accessibility. Now the entire team is very passionate about making Astra one of the most accessible themes out there. And that is why we consistently score 98 or above in Google's accessibility testing score. But 98 is not 100, right? So with Astra 3.5, the team set an ambitious goal to score 100 on 100 in Google's accessibility score. And I'm proud to say that after their hard work, Astra was able to score 100 on 100 on accessibility on desktop devices in Google's testing tool, which you can see on the screen right here. The team is also working hard behind the scenes to make sure that we reach this score on mobile devices as well. And those were all the amazing updates in Astra 3.5 that I wanted to talk about. If you like this video or found this helpful, make sure to leave a like on this video. Also subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you can receive notifications about future videos that we upload to our channel. You were listening to Yuvraj from Brainstorm Force and I'll see you in the next video.